Welcome back. Over the last couple weeks, we've gotten through a couple of different mods. We have done the Forgotten City mod, just most recently. And before that, we did the Undeath mod. Both of those were tremendously fun, so I figured let's do another one. And today, we're starting with Worm's Tooth. So, I do have the starting quest, which asks us to go to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. So that's where we are. We're here in Whiterun. And we're going to head over to the Bannered Mare. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Thank take you. take a seat by Thank the fire you. and I'll send no, some please. Please. Watch it. Hold your I'll pause. teach you to talk to One me more that song. way. What say you? Nah, yeah? I don't oh, think so. Right then. Now. Yes. Oh, there once was a so hero we meeting named with? Ragnar the Red who came riding. We do have this accepted, right? Yep. Lorius Liore. There Take he is. Let's talk to Lorius. Ah, you made it. I was beginning to think you were never going to show up. I received your message. Sounds like you're having trouble with a dragon. Indeed, I am. Heard you might be the person to speak to when it comes to dealing with these sorts of things. The problem is straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon has been attacking trade shipments throughout the holds. Perhaps you've seen the carriages burning by the roadside during your travels. Contingents of soldiers have already been sent after it, obviously to no success, and we need a solution before this problem gets out of hand. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lorius Lior, and I'm with the East Empire Company. Why would the East Empire Company get involved in this? Because it's our trade shipments that are being destroyed by that dragon. Supplies in the holds are dwindling as it is. No thanks to that Stormcloak uprising and the subsequent rise in banditry. So we've been cooperating with the Jarls to pull our resources together towards funding a solution. A collective bounty of 10,000 gold has been placed on this dragon to pique the interest of skilled mercenaries. So did you have a plan already? Because it's our trade shipments that are being destroyed by that dragon. Indeed, the per can. Oh, but where are my manners? From those that answered the call, I have personally chosen four highly proficient mercenaries. And I want you to lead them into battle. Their skills and backgrounds are diverse because we need to be ready for any challenge that we may be faced with. Okay, but mercenaries? Why mercenaries? This is no ordinary dragon we're dealing with. It has proven to be very calculating in its attacks, specifically targeting our trade shipments to slowly starve Skyrim from the inside out. Every battle our soldiers have had with it, we've been caught at a disadvantage. It may have a motive that we don't yet understand, and I don't want to risk throwing more Imperial soldiers at it in vain. The team I've assembled have been tracking the dragon from its last known sighting near Falkreath. By now, they should know where it's going. And if we're lucky, we might even be able to take it by surprise this time. That's where you'll come in. Sounds good. Can you tell me a little bit about the mercenaries you've hired? There's Aether, a Redguard warrior from Hammerfell. He used to be Alakir until he took up mercenary work. Danelit, a Bosma archer, and the most skilled sharpshooter I've seen. She was recently incarcerated in solitude for... Petty theft. A crime against the Thane, from what I hear. I had to pull a few strings with Jarl Elisif to have her released to us. Shargam, an orc berserker from Nazalbur, with the strength of at least three of his kind. And Elmira, an Ultima mage with some unhealthy fixations, but highly skilled in the arcane arts nonetheless. Okay, where are they? How do I meet up with them? I'll mark the rendezvous point on your map. When you get there, speak to Aether. If he's done his job, then he should know by now where that dragon has been roosting. If we're lucky, we might be able to catch that dragon by surprise and put an end to the trouble it's been causing. I wish you the best of luck, Dragonborn. I'll be waiting here for your return. Farewell, and do be careful out there. Hey, so a dragon is attacking Eastern Empire ships. And this guy has hired a few people, including me, to stop it. And they are meeting up with me. 
down here between Falkreath and Helgen. Probably we can start at the escape tunnel. There's a little path that comes right down here and meets up with this road. Good. That makes sense. I'll meet you there. Okay, the Helgen escape tunnels. Should be able to head straight this way and catch up to a road down in here. It's kind of foggy. I may have missed it. Could be right over here somewhere. That's a bad idea. Very bad idea. Coming up on him. Could be right up here. There they are. They just huddled there waiting for me. So, you're the one Loreas asked us to wait for. You're this dragonborn people have been talking about. That's me. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. You, I guess we have no choice. I'm Aether. This is our little ragtag group assembled by the Empire's coin. I wish we could have met under more favorable circumstances, but I'm afraid we're a little short on time. We've been following supply shipments through the region of the last week. Said the dragon Hopefully, we can get back to our spot conversation. Uh, uh, for the past few days. Yeah. Ancient uh, uh, is likely uh, where it's uh, now. I'm a fire! Uh, 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 Dying, put your hand on your back. It's easier to raise you that way. Let's see if I can get back into this conversation. Hopefully. Oh, you know what? Anything you need? Oh, I don't want you to tell me about yourself. Do you need healing? I can help with that. Can you walk normal yet? I think you're probably at full health by now. I think they're faking it. Am I supposed to be following this guy? I lost. I... Ah, uh, that stupid attack took me out of the conversation, so. I'm just assuming I'm following this guy. And he's leading me. Oh, yeah, find him to defeat the dragon. So we're headed to. Ancient's Ascent. Find and defeat the dragon that's been attacking these ships. That was uh, an un... Oh, hey. You're finally better. That was an unfortunate uh, attack time. Bone Chill Passage. This had to have been added by the mod. I don't remember this place. Just a short, short little cave. Well, they did call it passage. Okay, where are we on the map now? All right.
Oh, 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 we got some trolls and we got a dragon up there. Is that a statue? No, that dragon's moving. It's not a statue. You guys ready? Let's do this. It stuck me in place. I can't move. No, it laid me down right next to this. Ugh. Kendarth Balan Fukain. Finally, warriors worthy of combat walk before me. I was beginning to think your champions were all cowards, Kaizal. Varukiv Togat Kronga Dovakin. This one surprises me with its Dovasos. I have heard rumors. Maybe you are worthy of my Narok near Gold. It has been a grave for lesser mortals. In your tongue, they call it Worm's Tooth. To the Dove, it is the Bromlock Strunma. Seek it, Yagol's Walan, and you shall have the battle you seek. So is Wormtooth a place or an item? Damn it. Find and defeat the dragon. Okay. This is gonna go down well with Lorius. You can count on that. Yeah, I think he knew we were right headed this way. It was probably watching our movements this whole time. It was foolish to think we could just corner it like a wild beast. Seems like the dragon wants us to pursue it to Wormstooth. I'm beginning to see why Lurius is involved in this dragon hunt. I'm sure he can explain it better than I can. But for now, we should return to the Bannered Mare and let him know what transpired. So, so the way that guy was talking, Worm's Tooth sounds like a place. But from the dragon, I kind of thought that Worm's Tooth is a thing. Maybe it's both. Maybe there is a thing called Worm's Tooth and a place called Worm's Tooth. And we're headed there to find it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I might be I might be misinterpreting what the dragon said. Nothing back here. Okay. So let's see what this word of power is. Animal Allegiance. A shout for help from the beasts of the wild who come to fight in defense. Oh, interesting. So that shout, I, I have dragon souls. Oops. Need more dragon souls. I have 11. How many does this one cost? <laughs> That's a pretty expensive dragon soul. Um, probably because I haven't gotten far enough into the main quest to make that a thing yet. I should probably do some of the main quest at some point so that I can start using dragon souls. You guys just running in place down there? Alright, so we're supposed to meet back up with Lurius at the Bannered Mare again. Fantastic. I'll meet you there. Of course, I show up to the Bannered Mare and there's an Arctic Dragon attacking the city at night. Let me take this guy down real fast. Okay, that dragon fight took a while. He was, uh... It, it, it's not that he was hard to kill so much as... Look at all these guards. As he's hard to hit in the city. Especially with all the extra trees and things, you can't get a clear line of sight, and he never comes and lands 
within range of something that you can actually shoot them with. So, a little frustrating, but we got it done. And let's head back into Lurius. Come on in. Just stoked the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Thank you. You're back. I was beginning to think you may never return. I trust you bring good news. Unfortunately, no. I think he knew we were coming and, well, he got away. I see. Were you at least able to find anything out about why it was attacking our trade shipments? Yeah, it was a ruse. They really want us lured to an island called Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth? Then it seems that once again that dragon has slipped out of my grasp. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. I manage Stone Hollow, an East Empire Company mining settlement. It's located on the island of Worm's Tooth, to the north of Solitude and the Sea of Ghosts. Our particular dragon was first sighted near the mining settlement, but it never attacked us directly. Not one to let a potential problem fester. I brought it to the attention of the Empire, and a legion was dispatched to deal with it. Sadly, they proved to be no match for that dragon. And, and then what happened? All accounts suggest it headed south, to mainland Skyrim. Shortly thereafter, I began hearing reports of East Empire Company trade shipments being burned, with surviving witnesses all describing the same dragon. So, I traveled south in pursuit of it hoping to find a way to put an end to the problem before it had a chance to return. I convinced the East Empire Company to work together with the Jarls to raise a bounty on that dragon, and sent Theodin, my courier, to track down the one person that might give us an edge over the beast. You. This, I'm just going to tell you, this, this sounds like a trap we're walking into. My thoughts exactly, but considering what's at stake, that's a risk we'll need to take. Alright, well, we need to get after this, this dragon. Indeed we do. We can't risk this happening again if we let it get away. I'll have a ship ready at the docks in Solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Worms Tooth. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive. So you should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. Sounds good. We are headed to the docks. Solitude. Uh, looks like I do not have that unlocked. Okay, so we'll have to go somewhere close and then walk there. I'll meet you over there. Okay, so we're at the stables. That was probably the closest I could get. And we can start headed that way. So it sounds like we're going to take a boat to a new land called Worm's Tooth. A little laggy right now for me. I don't know what's going on there. Whoops. Is that the wrong boat? I kind of just assumed it was that boat. Maybe it was one of these over here. Maybe it's this guy. I see. He's just not here yet. He got here now, it looks like, or he's close. There he is. I just beat him to the boat. Good, you made it. I know it's not much, but this ship will get us to Worm's Tooth in one piece. It's a pretty Let nice boat. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll tell the captain to set sail. Yeah, let's just head. Just let's go. be sure you're fully equipped and stocked up on whatever you'll need before we depart. I'm good. I'm ready. Great. I'll let everyone know we're ready to set sail. 
Head below deck and get some shut-eye. It'll take a few hours for us to get there, and we'll need to be fully rested to face whatever is in store. A load screen? Something crash, or what? Back-to-back -back load screen. Oh, here we go. Aha! This must be... That was the... That first whole... Three, four quests was just the intro. Really nice. Okay. So that was a... That was a nice intro. There it is. In the distance. There are trade ships currently moored at the docks in Stone Hollow. So we'll need to dock near Fort Moonwatch instead. It'll be a short trek to the mining settlement. Let's just hope we make it there before anything bad happens. Alright, so it looks like we've made it to the Island of Worm's Tooth. Um, that intro was pretty good. Three, four quests long. I think we're going to cut it here. And next next episode continue with our tour of the, with the others, island of worm's tooth or maybe not tour or figure out whatever's coming next i'm not even sure which is the exciting part about all these mods is i don't know what i don't know what's next every t every time we play because i haven't played them before anyway thank you all for hanging out hit that subscribe button on your way out and we'll see you next time